Good day people, welcome back to my YouTube channel Elliot Wave Principal. I am your host Shaheen. Uh, I'm here with uh, some updates on gold and silver on a smaller time frame. So if you are uh, trading on a smaller time frame or if you think it's important for you then please pay attention. Uh, I'm also going to revise my long term analysis. I have uh, given a date for the a particular top happening in gold and we are going to discuss that so in today's video we are going to discuss that gold and silver and uh, this video is equally important for my patreon subscribers and YouTube uh, subscribers as well first of all let's have a look on the daily time frame uh, if you are considering this whole price movement as a, as a triangle you can hold on to that thought uh, till we actually get confirmation the important thing here is right now is that we are uh, completing, we are very close to completing the accumulation phase and there is no doubt that we are at the very very close juncture to uh, extreme highs and to the long term uh, trend that we were expecting in, t in the gold and we are expecting that the gold is going to create a major trend from this bottom as soon as this particular pattern is complete so there is no doubt about it we were expecting for the prices from the top to go down but the support has come very very uh, handy and it's very strong in this area and all of these signals are indicating that we are definitely heading to higher highs I've seen a lot of uh, people are actually getting really discouraged, uh, especially those people who have uh, bought uh, in gold and silver mining companies. So if you are one of them, then don't sell uh, right at the bottom right now. Uh, we are very, very close to forming the bottom in, uh, in, um, in the mining companies of gold and silver. So hold on a little more. I can assure you that we are very, very close to. In fact, we have seen some very good, nice movements in a uh, few stocks today, actually, uh, depending on what you have been trading. So enough talking with that. First of all, we can see that this uh, trend line, which I posted a few uh, weeks, a few months ago, actually about five, six months ago, uh, has been really, really important. And we have seen the power prices kind of reacting in that area. Not only prices have seen resistance in that area, we have also seen uh, the formation of a correction in that region. And I indicated that uh, uh, prices were right over here, uh, somewhere over here. I said the price is going to continue right over here. And then we have seen some sort of uh, push up in the price of gold. Uh, however, I think that, that initially you are thinking that this is going to continue. I think that we are right now on a smaller time frame. Uh, we are going to see price to come down and test 1834, 1835 area. Tomorrow's, uh, that is uh, today is right now November 17th with me. Uh, I'm here in Canada. So November 18th is going to be bearish it, uh, for gold and for silver. We are going to discuss both of them. Uh, so I'm expecting right now that we have sort of... Uh, uh, this pattern all right if you are a, an elitician you should know a double three pattern here we can see a flat correction a zigzag correction another zigzag correction overall the pattern look is uh, uh, the side waves but since we are right at the top of the corrective move and we have not uh, we have seen this area come in uh, tested once so the next target should be around 1834 so tomorrow is uh, definitely bearish for me I'm uh, keeping uh, that in hand as soon as soon as that comes uh, that comes uh, we can find the support in here yeah, I'm expecting and uh, that we'll see strong price action tomorrow if you do not see price action strong action tomorrow we'll also have to wait one more day uh, for the price to finish this area I'll probably be up updating that analysis on my patreon page so if you are really uh, into it then you uh, you might want to visit me on my patreon page so as far as the price analysis is concerned, I'm right now bearish and I'm expecting for the prices to go down uh, strongly tomorrow. Uh, and if it does not go strongly tomorrow, then I would definitely be posting another or I actually try my best to post another update on, on the price of gold and silver. So what happens after that? Uh, I gave a date on of November 29th and November 30th. Either of the dates, we are going to see a top and the update, uh, the top that we were expecting is... Uh, around 1960 and uh, if the prices can actually be really strong if prices uh, have arrived there before uh, 29th of November in that case you will be expecting for the target to be at 2060 definitely I'll be keeping an update so this particular uh, is a very strange uh, 
is going to be very strange price movement for a lot of people who um, have been using technical analysis that in terms of price target I'm also giving the uh, day target and it's very very likely that we are going to see this particular date met uh, so it's going to be very very interesting we have to wait uh, a day or two maybe more and it's going to be very very interesting price action in summary if you have missed what I was saying I'm expecting for the price of gold to drop uh, to around 1834 and then I'm expecting for the price of gold to go up and see uh, the initial t the the target of 1960 uh, on 29th of November or on 30th of November if the trend is very strong then we might hit actually 2060 uh, on 29th of November or 30th of November uh, but I think we should focus more on 1960 alrighty let's have a look on silver uh, for the price of silver it looks like the correction once again is yet not complete we are expecting for the price of silver to drop uh, most of the time it's gonna follow gold and since gold is coming down I'm expecting all the all the reason because uh, silver is all expected to come down uh, the initial target for that is going to be 2446 uh, and if the price is, is trend down is very strong we might actually see uh, 2413 uh, so here is the first target and this is going to be the second target and the pattern that I'm seeing right now is uh, I'm expecting this once again this has a, a side wave flat correction A, B and C another A, B and C a flat correction and another zigzag pattern so A, B and C could that be a little mess in here I think there could be a possibility some mess over here but I'm expecting for the price of silver to drop um, quite a bit and if the initial target is 2440 and if we can might see 24 for uh, 12 24 13 area so could that be actually bringing the price all over here uh, there is nothing that can actually give us a confirmation of something happening right over here uh, so but I don't think so that's most likely uh, since the price is expected to come down I think there's still a corrective pattern starting from that top and as soon as the prices have reached around 37.5 area we will uh, be expecting for the prices to go up uh, as per uh, Elliott wave guidelines I've also drawn uh, a side uh, an equidistance channel right over here and I'm considering this whole price movement as a smaller degree wave 1 a smaller degree, uh, degree wave 2 and I'm expecting that this is going to be an expanded third wave and then we'll see when the prices that have actually come out of the channel uh, that will be an indication that the uh, wave 3 has been confirmed alright and once wave 3 is confirmed then we'll expect the, for the prices to uh, fall back on the top of the channel it might enter a bit into the channel and then we will be expecting for the prices to shoot up again uh, for wave 5 All right. so this is the uh, the plan price movement indication you can turn that into your trading opportunity and uh, a couple of uh, words first of all gentlemen I'm I myself work like you guys most of I, I have to earn my living I'm busy throughout the day um, so just to make video edit it and post it and keep a constant eye on the on the market to analyze it is a function so if you are following me on my patreon uh, I would encourage you to do more and more on this side if you could join me on on the $99 per month subscription that will be really helpful that will be um, but if you want to stay over here then please expect that it's going to be less content I'm going to be more centered toward uh, putting more content on this year if you decide to stay in here you will be getting at least one video uh, for gold and silver per week so because that's initial handshake that we had so I'm not going to back that off but if you want like today's video I'm going to put it on you and I'm putting on on YouTube and I'm putting it uh, for my subscribers under uh, bi-weekly gold and silver analysis as well so I would encourage you if you guys think that my content is valuable and you are able to uh, take some profit uh, please uh, think in that regard okay so wish you good luck with your trading if you are seeing me on YouTube you can please come join me on patreon that will be helpful for you uh, you can just have at least one month subscription and then you decide how good of my content is however when you come and join me on my patreon page uh, remember that I am more kind of uh, a swing trader and a swing analyst and that means that I would love to uh, give you long swings right 
uh, this particular we have seen prices to go up but this was not an accurate not an accurate uh, thing to happen sometime we get a signal uh, the signal is good enough to tell that okay yeah we the, the pattern is yet not complete for example we can right now see here the side wave pattern uh, zigzag pattern and a zigzag pattern and also we are seeing resistance coming in handy the price action is also matching up with our idea that the price uh, correction is yet not complete sometimes these things are not uh, clear so in that case I would love to give long term um, not long term but swings actually and I'm pretty sure if you decide to trade swings you'll have a lot of uh, more success as compared to just trading small price movement Wish you good luck with your trading if you are um, a, a trader who bought into gold and uh, uh, silver mining stocks do not worry about it do not sweat about it I can guarantee you all of my research is pointing that we are very very close to the uh, forming the bottom in in uh, uh, in the mining sector of gold and silver and we are very close to actually a huge move of gold and silver as well once again uh, have a good one and bye bye